Hello, it's you James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. So we are now officially in 2023, and I thought for my first video, I would do a simple illegals video. I'm going to show you three illegals that you can get in your world right now and to kick things off we are gonna need to head towards the illegal block museum which i swear is so very close to being complete there is gonna be a video on this 100 percent this year at some point Lol. right so i mean you can have a sneak peek it's going well it's looking good the decorations at the inside is i mean coming on really well i'm kind of happy with it it was looking kind of shabby. Now it's looking really good, I think, anyway. I mean, there is some stuff I still need to uh, do. To be honest, I'm really happy with how far this has come along. Even the roof right now is nearly finished. It's, I, I forget what it's called, rusting stage or something like that. So that's pretty nice. I've come to the top floor of my museum. As you can see, this is not 100% finished. But I have started to add an illegal up here. And this is the first illegal of this video. This one is definitely really really epic as you can see we have armored foxes these things quite literally have armor on now this guy is holding a bone but if we go over to here you can make them even more op i don't know if you can see this guy he's holding a totem of undying he also has a pair of elytra on so i mean this guy is super super op and honestly, this is so simple to actually get. All you need to do is grab yourself some foxes. Personally, I like these white ones. I don't know if they're any rarer, but uh, I do think they uh, look quite nice, especially with the armor on. Although, I did want to have a combination. So, technically, you could have, like, all white foxes and all of these foxes but i decided to go for a combination of different foxes and of course you can do this with every single piece of armor i just need to do it with chainmail armor which i actually have in here so i'm gonna grab this right now to perform this glitch is actually really straightforward all you need is the fox to sit next to a dispenser and the dispenser obviously have the armor that you want to add to the fox of course you need a way to activate the dispenser and if the fox is sitting down like this it will not get added to the fox so what we're going to do is actually grab some water and waterlog this like that and it will make the fox stand up you can leave that water in there and then simply add the armor and you can see the chainmail armor has started to actually go on to our fox giving us a fully armored fox and there we go i've added the last piece of armor what i'm gonna do is remove the water now i could do with a skipping rope if i can find one so i can drag him into his enclosure i just totally noticed that these coppers have just not even like changed what like that one's not even changed one bit now all i'm gonna do is grab the fox and put him in this little place that i made earlier and that is illegal block number one and for some reason, I've got rain literally coming in my roof. Okay. So yeah, illegal block number one is the Armored Fox. You can still very much do this in this update. I don't think it's going to be patched, but I should mention to actually see these... You do need to have a texture pack on. Now, the texture pack is actually featured in the P3 Illegals Guide. And you can find that guide in the Jam Fam Discord server. There is a link to that in the description below. So, for this next one, I'm not really sure. Dude, I've got rain on the second floor as well. What? Nah, that is... Alright, if I stand at this angle, there's no rain. Rain, no rain. <laughs> rain, no rain. Dude. As I was saying, I don't actually know where to put this next illegal. I was thinking perhaps the basement, although it is not actually finished completely yet. Hmm, I'm very undecided. I think maybe I'm going to have them this side because this is very empty. So, uh, yeah. Next up, we have got illegal buttons. I have mentioned this one before, but the only thing I didn't realize was you can actually get 12 illegal versions of each button. That means there are over 100 illegals in this single uh, little section alone. Yes, they are the same, but they are like different colors. I'm going to show you how to get them right now. We're going to use the crimson buttons. I've set up this block. All I'm going to do is simply add buttons all the way around the sides of this 
block. I've also added this little bit of scaffolding so I have access to the top as well. Next, I'm going to place down the buttons that I'm using back into a chest so I don't have any buttons in my inventory. And one by one with this silk touch pickaxe, I'm going to press in like this and then mine it as it's pressed in. As you can see, we have a pressed in button. Now, if we go and place this onto a item frame, you can see that it is not a normal placement on an item frame. And if we, for example, do this side now, what I like to do is obviously press in the button, then break it, grab the illegal, and then go straight over to the area you're going to place it and place it in the same one. Now you can see I've placed it. You can't actually see that I've placed one. But if we go behind just up here, you can see it actually goes through the uh, item frame. Now this is a good way of actually showcasing these illegals. There's not very many ways that we can showcase it. But if we use like a glass pane surrounded in item frames or you could use a fence post, I think a glass pane looks a little bit nicer. You can actually see the backs of the item frames as well. So what I'm going to do is get the remainder of the other sides right now. Let's do that right now. Press in the button and of course mine it and we will have this side so i'm going to place this one just here like so again that's gone on the inside you can see how far that one actually sticks out though now you can see this one sticks out way further compared to this one so it is definitely worth getting all 12 let's go ahead and get the bottom one now press the button and mine it now we've got the bottom one i'm going to go to our display unit and place it there now that one of course we're going to have to go on the scaffolding to have a little look you can see that it's kind of next to the glass pane just there kind of nice and i think we have two more to get which is of course this side let's just grab dude we got two more to get i'm gonna get the top and then we can go ahead and place that on the top of the display case just there and that one of course goes underneath so if we look underneath it goes through the item frame and underneath and finally we are going to get this one boom and that one will go through to the other side now, I think maybe it could go different depending on how you display them. But what I like to do, as I said, is do them one by one like this. And there are another six versions of this button. Let me show you. So, if we go ahead and grab the exact same crimson button. And we place them on our block where we're getting the illegal buttons from. Now, once I've placed all the buttons on that block, I'm going to throw these buttons back in there like so. And then... We are simply going to mine the buttons. We don't even have to press them in this time. We're going to grab that button. And then we can place this one on top. And you can see it will still go underneath. Because this is an illegal button as well. And we're going to do that to every single one. I'll probably time lapse this bit. Because of course you don't need to... Uh, press the buttons in so it really is just me mining buttons and placing them in the display case i'll be back in just a second And there we go. I now have all 12 variations of that button. I do, of course, need to continue and get every single variation of every button. Remember, that does mean we will have over 100 different illegals from this one alone. That means you will need some item frames, whether they're normal item frames or glow item frames. Personally, I think the glow item frames do look a little bit better, but you will need over 100. So uh, yeah, you will need to stock up on item frames and of course buttons before you do this glitch. Oh yeah, before I actually get onto the next one, I found this dog this morning and literally tamed it in like two bones. And he's quite literally a baby. I don't have a name for it, so, uh, yeah. If anyone wants to name this thing, ah, let me know in the comments below. Of course, it would start raining. First time of 2023. I mean, great. Yep. Let's continue. Next illegal on the list and the final illegal in today's video is this guy. The double item holding piglin. Especially the ones that hold rare items like the clock. 
and of course the enchanted golden apple. There are a number of different versions of this you can actually make. I'm going to make one with a crossbow and a either golden carrot or a block of gold. I think I'm going to do the block of gold. All you are going to need to actually get yourself one of these is simply a piglin which is the ones that you can trade with in the nether. As you can see, I have one right there. This guy is uh, holding a crossbow, and then I'm going to throw this piece of gold, and then I'm going to push him through the portal. On the other side, of course, I'm going to collect him in a birch boat. It would be nice if we could keep them as a piglin, but we all know once they go through to the overworld, they will go to a pigman. So all I'm going to do, hopefully I can do this first time, I'm going to throw this down so he picks it up, and then I'm going to remove the blocks and push him through, all right? I'm going to throw it down so he picks it up, I'm going to remove the blocks, just like this, and then I'm going to push him through. And hopefully, at least he definitely will be, holding that block still. And he will have his crossbow as well. As long as we don't hold any trades in front of this guy, we now have an illegal piglin. We just got to wait for him to transform into an illegal pigman. And there we go. We now have a pigment that's holding a block of gold and a crossbow. I mean, I think that's pretty awesome. As I said, you could rinse and repeat this process, getting yourself a number of illegal piglings. You could get one to hold a golden ingot, a golden nugget, a golden carrot, even an enchanted golden apple, a normal golden apple, a clock, just literally anything made out of gold. Remember, you're going to want to wear some gold armor as well, so the piglin don't attack you in the first place. And there we go. There are my three super simple illegals that you can get in your world right now. Remember, if you do have a name for this guy, please, please, please let me know. He is literally brand new on the realm, literally days, if not like hours old. I think for sure this year, I'm going to have to sort out the rain. I think uh, it's way too annoying to actually keep in Simply Survival. I'm going to have to uh, figure out a way that we can take on the rain and successfully win. That is the end of today's video. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. Remember, if you do have any bugs or glitches or illegals that you want to share, let me know in the comments below. That's all I've got time for. I will catch you on the next one.